Hello everyone. Uploading images has become an essential feature for many applications, websites, and platforms. And if you're working with Vue.js, you're in luck. Vue.js provides an easy and efficient way to implement image upload functionality through drag and drop. In this step-by-step -step guide, we'll explore how to create a drag and drop image upload feature in Vue. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced Vue.js developer, You'll find this guide helpful as we walk through the process together, from setting up the project to implementing the drag and drop functionality. So, let's get started and learn how to create a seamless image upload experience for your view. JS application. I will guide you step by step from project creation to feature completion. Okay, we will start now. To create a huge project, I use the command npm init view latest. I will name the project drag drop images. When installing Vue, will ask for some additional packages to install. I will choose no. Next, I run the familiar command npm install. I will open the project in Visual Studio Code. For the easiest and fastest, I'll do the code at app.js. I'll remove all the defaults. Now I will write a template and CSS for the image upload function. You can watch the video and follow along. I won't talk much about HTML and CSS.
The component definition includes a data property which returns an object with two properties, images, and is dragging. These properties are used to store data for the component instance. Images is an empty array, and is dragging is initially set to false. The component definition also includes a methods property which contains a single method called select files. This method is executed when a user triggers an event clicking a button. When called, select files executes the click method on a reference to an HTML input element refs file input. This causes the file picker dialog to appear, allowing the user to select one or more files. The VIF directive is used to conditionally render the contents of the span element based on the value of the is dragging property. If is dragging is false, the text drag and drop image here or and a clickable browse button are displayed. Clicking the browse button triggers the select files method. If is dragging is true, the text drop images here is displayed instead. The input element is used to create a file input field. When a file is selected, the onFileSelect method is triggered, which handles the selected files and performs any necessary actions on the uploaded images. The function takes an event object as its argument, which is generated when a user selects one or more files using an HTML input element with the type attribute set to file. The function first checks if any files were selected. If the length of the array of selected files is zero, it immediately returns without doing anything further. If one or more files were selected, the function then iterates through each file using a for loop. For each file, it checks if the file type starts with image. If the file type does not start with image, it skips to the next file. If the file type does start with image, the function then checks if the images array already contains an image with the same name as the selected file. If the images array does not already contain an image with the same name, the function adds the selected file to the images array. The added image is represented as an object with two properties name, which is set to the name of the file, and URL, which is set to a URL that represents the selected file. The code is inside a div element that has a v for directive. The v for directive loops through an array of images called images and creates a new div element for each image. Inside the loop, we have a span element with a class of delete. This span element will display an x symbol that can be clicked to delete the corresponding image. Next, we have an ing element that displays the image. The src attribute binds the src property of the ing element to the url property of the image object. The add click event listener is bound to the delete image method, which will be called when the x symbol is clicked. The delete image method takes the index parameter, which is the index of the image to be deleted from the images array. This is a block of HTML code that defines a container element with a class name of drag area and has three event listeners bound to it using view. JS directives. The dragover prevent directive listens for a dragover event, which occurs when a draggable item is being dragged over the container element. The prevent modifier is used to prevent the default behavior of the event, which is to not allow the draggable item to be dropped onto the container. The on dragover function is called when the user is dragging a file over the designated area. It prevents the default action of the browser, sets the is dragging flag to true, and sets the drop effect to copy indicating that a copy of the file will be created when it's dropped. The onDragLeave function is called when the user leaves the designated area with the file. It also prevents the default action of the browser and sets the isDragging flag to false.
The onDrop function is called when the user drops the file onto the designated area. It prevents the default action of the browser, sets the is dragging flag to false, and retrieves the drop files from the data transfer property of the event object. The function then iterates through the drop files and checks whether each file is an image file. If a file is an image and has not been previously added to the this images array, the function adds the file's name and a URL to its location on the client's machine to the this images array using the push method. Okay, I finished the tutorial on drag drop file with Fuchs. Thank you for watching the video until now. If there is any problem, please send me a comment. Goodbye and see you again.